Hey, year 13s, it's good to see you all. It's nice to see people on the chat already, which is amazing. Got Emma, Kayun, and Jasmine. Doing well. <clears throat> Sorry for the late make of the uh, YouTube video. I'm assuming that everyone else will slowly appear. So today, guys, we're... So you guys have finished Kinetics now. You had to go at the test, which is great. You guys did brilliantly. Really, really pleased with everyone. That's really great news that everyone seems to have done okay on it. I'm really, really pleased. Um, today, we're going to be, I'm, I'm just going to go through the exam with you guys, and I will. Um, but I'm very aware that the other year 12 ca uh, class, I'm lagging, oh no. Um, I'm very aware that the other year 13 class hasn't done it yet. So I will, uh, um, I will make sure that as soon as they've done it, which is tomorrow, the next lesson, I will go through the kinetics paper with you guys. I might do it just, uh, well, I'll just record it once. Um, okay, so I've got Mika, Dat, and Dana, which is amazing. Mika, Dat, and Dana. I've got Nikita and Tenzi. That's amazing. Tenzi and Nikita. Who else? Oh, who else am I missing? Okay, that's all so far. Okay, so still missing Rhea, Ben, and Ivan. Rhea, Ben, and Ivan are the only people that are missing now. I'll give them another minute or so. And as I said, today we're going to be looking at equilibrium. So <clears throat> the first thing is I did my learning objectives. Uh, I did them on the, on the uh, YouTube video. So you can see that I've got, uh, I've got three learning objectives. Number one is to recall AS equilibrium. Because we really can't do A2 without re revisiting the AS a little bit. Uh, and that's, of course, it's good for you guys since, you know, there's going to be opportunities for you guys to be sitting your Unit 1 and 2 exams and Unit 3 exams uh, when we go back to school. So it's good to do a little bit of a recap. The second one is I want you guys, I just want to recap coughs. Yeah, knowledge oppose, favor, shift. I just want to just revisit that. Oh, there's Ben. It's amazing. If someone could send Ivan and Rhea a message, that would be grand. That would be really handy. And then last one, we're going to be looking at the very first part of A2, which is KC. So we'll visit those, and I'm going to show you how the K evolves into KC. Okay, so I'll mark Rhea and Ivan as missing for, for now, and we can start having a look. Hola, it's me. Nice, Ben. Love it. <laughs> Um, okay, I'll mark them as missing for now, and then I'll add them when they arrive. I think that seems like a very reasonable thing to do. Ah, oh, there's Ivan. I was here the whole time. I was getting breakfast. <laughs> I like it. Only one person missing now, and that's Rhea. Can someone send her a message? That'd be great. Right, okay, guys, I'll share my screen with you. Three minutes in, register's done, which is amazing. I'm happy with that. Okay, so share screen. So equilibrium today, which is quite exciting. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh, my laptop's been going through updates. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would also recommend, by the way, I'm doing the AS calculations with my 11s that are now 12s, and all the YouTube videos online are there for you to watch, and I've tried to number them all now. I'm slowly evolving into getting this uh, a little bit improved um, and that, that, that here was the end of the kinetics, and I didn't number the lessons quite as well as I, I wish I had done. Um, I feel like I need to somehow make a distinction between the end of kinetics and the start of equilibrium. Oh, well, we'll figure that out at a later date. Okay, I'll, I'll write on this now. So, draw. I'm thinking maybe if I do it, if I do this, whoa, if I do this title in red, A2 equilibrium. Equilibrium. I quite like that. There we go. I'm just seeing if it's going to, yeah, it'll come up red. So that at least gives me a little bit of a distinction where the cutoff of the previous one is. So A2 equilibrium. So three learning objectives. Number one, we've got knowledge. We need to recap just recap AS equilibria. 
equilibria. Yeah, we're then going to do, I want you guys to be able to use coughs. Yeah, use coughs. We recognize this is our method. Yeah, coughs, I'll put underneath it in small. I'm gonna switch, by the way, back to black in a minute. Coughs method for predicting shift, yeah? To predict shift, we know this. I'm just, I'm doing it because coughs requires practice and I'm not gonna lie, I know that lots of students don't do enough of that in chem. It's a common theme, yield change. Last learning objective is I need you guys to understand K versus KC. And that is a, that's a subscript. The C is a subscript. It's not actually a normal letter. It's, it's a subscript letter, so it's, yeah, lower. Okay, so, all right. So what we need to do is we just need to recap AS equilibria. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go AS equilibria. Now, the great thing is, of course, the evolution from GCSE to AS is actually very small. Yeah, there we go, AS equilibria. Guys, on the chat, please, let's try and get everybody motivated. Let's get everyone to contribute. Give me some words to add to my AS equilibrium heart. We heart equilibria. Can I actually point out that people don't actually like equilibrium in particular? It's one of those topics that does require, does require a lot of practice. And as I said, students struggle with that bit. Coughs, thanks, Donna. Love it. Give me the next one, folks. Give me the next one. Let's see how long it takes me to go all the way around. Oh, I love it. Le Chatelier. Thank you very much, Nikita. That's amazing. Le Chatelier. Excellent. Yeah. Le Chatelier. I'm going to add the word principal to that one. Principal. Give me the next one. <laughs> Load forward and backward reactions. I like it. That's great. Thanks, Emma. Forward slash backward reactions. Love it. That's excellent. I like that. Backward reactions. Next. I love it. Dynamic equal. Thank you, Ivan. Yeah, we know that that right there, dynamic equilibrium, that there is a, is a really important one because this pretty much comes up every year in AS. It's a definition which is often asked not as a definition. I love it. Pressure, conch, and temperature. Thank you, Kayun. That's great. Pressure, conch, and temp. Love it. The three factors that affect it. Closed system. Thank you, Ben. Often asked as a definition as well. I love it. Closed system. Next. We're doing really well here, folks. <clears throat> Anything else? Oh, that's interesting. We've gone quiet. How fascinating. Oh, no. Drop my pen. Oh, oh look at that. Kayun's given me some great ones. Haber. Yeah, we have to know the Haber. Haber process. Excellent. Most important process in the history of chemistry. Great job for that word. Compromise. Yes. Next, homogeneous equilibrium and a hetero. Ooh, isn't that posh? Homogeneous and heterogeneous. Hetero. I, I'm just going to put homo and hetero. It's easier. Homo and hetero. I'll add the genus bit on the end, then like this, I'll do genus. Yeah, equilibria, I like it. Contact process, oh, I love it. Got another process off there, love that. Yeah, I've got two processes. Contact, the making of sulfuric acid, love that. Contact process, amazing. Reversible, thank you, Ben. It's one of them, do you know what? When you get to AS, it just kind of becomes forgotten. And you can't, that's the GCSE bit. The reversible, yeah, reversible reaction, love it. Equilibrium constant, ah, Ben. So Ben has just given me 
the very first part of A2. A2 equilibria. So you haven't seen this yet. A2 equilibria, Kc. The equilibrium constant. Equilibrium. I'm trying to do that in my best, um, my best elevator voice. Equilibrium constant. I love it. We're going to be defining that today. It's quite exciting. I'm going to now add a couple of extras of my own. I'm going to do mine in green since they're mine. Equilibria graphs. Graphs. It's a, that, that one is, this is genuinely AS and it appears at A2 fairly heavily. I'm not entirely sure how it gets forgotten so much at AS. It's because you don't see it very often, uh, but there is a graph for equilibrium. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna add another word, yield. I think that's a good one. Yeah, yield, it links directly to today's lesson in part of A2, yeah. We've got compromise, so I'm happy with that. Uh, what other ones would I like to add to this? Um, I feel like the problem is the ones I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm doing the spin-off of coughs. So we'll come back to this and see what other things that we can add here. Okay, so now that we've just had a, a nice kind of recap of all the words, yeah, and I, I think, I don't think this really counts as a reasonable recap of AS. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put, we've done a recap of the words, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set you guys an AS homework, yeah? I'm gonna set you guys an AS homework just to make sure that you guys have got a really good understanding from the AS. They'll all be exam questions. Um, we'll look at that um, and we'll look at that towards the end. Okay, so since we've had a look, now what I'm gonna do is I wanna, I wanna quickly go through coughs, yeah? So coughs is Mr. Duncan's method. This is method, method for predicting for predicting yield change, yield change. And I invented this. This method is designed for you to hit all your marks and to get your brain into the, the right kind of mentality for equilibrium, because it requires you to do this, these rather odd things. So we already know, thanks to Kayun, we know that there are three factors that we can change. Yeah, so factors, affecting yield, factors affecting yield, we already have from Kayun, yeah? We've got temperature, we've got pressure, and we've got concentration, uh, sorry, ah, uh, temperature, pressure. Oh, suddenly realized there's a mistake. So pressure and concentration are the same thing in equilibria. Oh no, that's only in gases. No, that's not true. I take that back. No, concentration, because that, that it can be concentration, of course, if you're in a solution. I'm gonna put pressure and add the state symbol for gases only. By the way, that's actually really important. Nota bene, Gas it, gases only. Capital letters on the only, yeah? The concentration is anything that's in solution. So I'm gonna add aqueous in here, aqueous equilibrium. Okay, so what does COFs stand for? Let's just remind ourselves. So COFs, and by the way, I'm gonna put this in a question setting. So question number one for today's lesson. Um, let's do, write an equ a general equilibrium. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say that, and I'm going to put question one, Dana raises the temperature, raises the temperature, yield, <laughs> yield change, question mark, okay, so impress me year 13s, run coughs please on the chat, do it, do, 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 go, 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 go. What's that from? What film is that from? No, it's not from, it's not from a film. It's from a Futurama. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it 
It's actually one of the best episodes of Futurama ever, by the way. It's amazing. I actually ought to steal that as a meme. <clears throat> Let's see how long it takes you guys to, to do that. Who's going to get in there first? By the way, I'm eating a piece of toast. Sorry about that. Mm. Everyone's gone quiet. I know that people are going to be writing and there's a delay anyway. So this is why I get to explain my method. Because this question at A-level is four marks. And most students will get nowhere near hitting that, especially consistently. Yeah, it, it requires you to say certain words in a certain order with, with kind of, and, and without the waffle. And what I designed was a method to make this really easy. Yeah. And actually the first step in the method is the hardest. Everything else becomes easy after that. So we run coughs. So the, the very first K is knowledge. Yeah. And by the way, I run kick ass, of course. Uh, I run kick ass for rates. The forward reaction is then, oh, look at this. Don is on this. So the knowledge, the second one is oppose. Most commonly lost mark in the whole of A-level chemistry, that one. Favor and shift. Look at that. Don has smashed it out of the park, especially since she was the one that raised the temperature. So the knowledge, okay, so we changed the temperature here. So the knowledge is based on temperature. It's based on energy. And the knowledge, this section here always comes knowledge. And I'll put underneath it, comes from equation. From equation. That's what it comes from. And in this case, here's the knowledge of temperature. It's telling us, and Donna smashed it, the forward reaction is endothermic. Yeah, there's the knowledge. The forward reaction the forward reaction is endothermic you have to know energetics for this of course because you've got to recognize your sign yeah and it was a positive sign here positives means endo which literally translates to cold i always like that because endo has four letters cold exo has three letters meaning hot i always love that that's the way i remember those two by the way so this is an endo, and just to also give a bit of extra, um, an extra AS bit. Now, people often ask, well, how do you know that's the forward reaction? The answer is they always tell you about the forward. Why would they tell you about the backward reaction? Chemists are trying to make stuff. So the only reaction they ever tell you about is the forward. Yeah, so well done, Donna, for getting the first mark. Spot on. Yeah, knowledge. The forward reaction is endothermic. Right, then she says... Raise, raise temperature, so equilibrium, well, well, well done, Donna, she's hit the oppose. This is the most lost mark in the whole of A-level chemistry. Because you have to say something really awkward. Students like the most common responses, according to Lush, they say, uh, Le Chatelier's principle says it will oppose the change. That's not enough. Yeah, that is very common and will not get you the mark. You must say, what did Donna do? Donna raised the temperature raise temp and the the oppose is the opposite yeah it's what it means it means the word opposite so if donna raises the temperature then the equilibrium the equilibrium will lower the temperature will lower uh oh oh no it's doing it already Ah, uh, my laptop's just been through an update as well. No, 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 don't do this to me. No, no, no. Oh, no. I don't know if my if it's my pen. I did just drop my pen and it took a bit of a fall. Uh, this is not good. Oh, no, let's close that down. Just going to close that down for a minute, guys. We know that we can always get this back. I just have to restart it without ending anything. Let's see what this does. This might fix it or it might not. Let's get rid of this. I don't think this is going to work. I think I'm going to have to restart the computer. The equilibrium will... Oh, wow. Really lost it now, folks. Right, guys, stay where you are. I'm not going to end it. I'm just going to literally restart my computer. I'll be back in literally 60 seconds.
Right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Matt, I don't know. I wonder how long that took. Right, share screen. I don't know why it does it. it this this laptop is great most of the time, but it, it does struggle at times. Straight back in. Okay, so there you go. It's working now, I know. Okay, so Donna raised the temperature. Then the equilibrium will, uh, will lower the temperature. Lower the temp. Yeah, you can't write temp in your exam, by the way. You have to write temperature, which is very annoying. Right, so the next word is favor. And that literally translates to how is it going to do? What, what is it going to favor? And it is if it's trying to lower it, lower means cold. It's going to favor the cold reaction. Yeah? Equilibrium, equilibrium will favor, and you've got to use that word. Yeah? Favor... Favor the endothermic reaction, which is the cold reaction. It's trying to make it cold, so it will favor that one. Yeah, favor endothermic reaction. So let's now go on to here and we go, right, we know that this one is the cold reaction here. That's the cold because it told us over here. Yeah, so it's going to favor that, making it bigger, pushing it from left to right. So we go, the shift is always in left to right. Yeah, shift. Oh, come on, Toe. Come on. Shift left to right. Thank you so much, guys. Really, really impressed. You guys nailed that. Dana, absolutely on it. Shift some left to right yield increases. Well done. It's always good to mention the yield. It should be coffee. Yeah, and the yield, therefore, increase. Yield increase. Yield of C will increase. I like it. Nikita, yeah, knowledge for reaction is endo. Oppose, Donna raises the temperature, so equilibrium opposes it and lowers the temperature. Favors equilibrium will favor the forward endo reaction. Well done for saying endo there. Very easy. You, I thought you were going to lose it there with favors the forward. You had to say the endo. Well done. Shift. Uh, you said shift yield increases. You missed shift from left to right yield increases. Great job, Nikita. Outstanding. So now this process is designed to hit every single mark, folks. Yeah, I haven't made this up for fun. Yeah, this hits every single mark and there's no waffle. You run a process, you score the marks, you move on. Instead of writing an essay and not getting everything, I've designed that to do so. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do question number two. Nikita, oh, uh, let's stick with the same thing. I'm gonna now make this a little bit more tricky. I've been a bit mean there, been a bit mean. I'll do that. Okay, question. Nikita, Nikita lowers the pressure. Lowers the pressure. Yield? Question mark. Did he not see this? No, I did. I did, I did. See what? I, know, right? I, I have no idea what Rhea's talking about either. Oh, Rhea decides to show up. Oh, hello, Rhea. Would have been nice if you'd told me you were here so I could mark you on the reg. <laughs> okay, Nikita lowers the pressure. Yield, go. Run coughs, please. Run coughs. Knowledge, oppose, favor, shift. That's the way we've got to do this. Nice and easy. Oh, I said, sorry, I'm late. My wife, I was super slow. Ah, oh, no worries, Rhea, that's fine. The video didn't load. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, every now and again, it, people are, seem to be finding that. Pause the video now and have a go at the answer. Okay, unpause. So knowledge. Now, this is a trap. I'm trying to trick people. Yeah, we know that there's a key bit here. There was a nota bene earlier on in the lesson. Yeah, I'm going to repeat the nota bene. Nota bene. Um, pressure... Pressure only affects gases. Yeah, only affects gases. Well, one of them's a liquid, so it's not going to take part, it's not going to be affected by the pressure. Yeah, so knowledge. Now, in terms of pressure, the knowledge is the number of gas particles on either side. Yeah. So 
on this side, let's divide the let's divide the equation. On this side of the equation, there is only one particle of gas, one mole. And it, people are wondering where the one comes from, it's because there's an invisible one in front of it. Yeah, one mole of gas, one mole of gas there. On this side, we have two moles of gas. Now, th this is a, usually a trap. See, Ivan's done a great job. The left side has more moles than the right. You've just lost that first mark, Ivan. You've just lost it. The very first one you've lost, your knowledge you've lost. You can't just say more now. You have to actually use the equation at A-level. At GCSE, they let you off. But at A-level, they don't. You've got to quantify this now. Yeah? Uh, this is a trap because usually people think it's the same on either side because there's two particles on either side, but it's not in this case because one of them is a liquid. So knowledge, one mole of gas, one mole of gas on left, two moles of gas of gas on right. Notice, yeah, notice, I'm just gonna put that in a bracket so you know it's not a part of it. Yeah, oh, wow, my writing is really slopey. I can do better than that. I can definitely do on, on left. Two moles, try and level it out, two moles on right. There we go. So the knowledge again, same thing from equation, from EQ. Right, oppose. Right, what did what did Nikita do? Nikita lowered, I mean, need to write that. Nikita lowered the pressure, lowered pressure. So the equilibrium, so equilibrium will raise the pressure. You can't just say the equilibrium opposes the change. It's not enough, guys. It's not enough. Yeah, so equilibrium will raise pressure. Right, how is it going to do that? What is it going to favor to do that? It's going to favor the side. E so favors side, the side with more gas. Yeah, favor side with more moles of gas, which is the right-hand side. Yeah, so favor side with more gas, shift. Shift left to right. Shift left to right, yield increases. And we're done. Nice, five marks, doing really well. Shift left to right, yield increases. Well done, Donna, superb. Yeah, one mole on the left, two mole on the right. Lowers pressure, therefore equilibrium will increase pressure. Equilibrium favors forward reaction. Ah, you've lost it. You've lost number three, Dana. You've lost the favor. Yeah, this is the tricky bit of this. Yeah, what did what did Ivan do? Oppose the change by increase of favors forward reaction. No, Ivan lost it too. The favors one, you have to you have to think. Remember, the favors is linked to the knowledge. If you have said the number of moles, then you need to link that in the favor. Yeah, you can't just say favor the forward reaction. It won't do for this one. Do we have to say favor the side with more gas? Yes, you do, Donna. Yes. The F and the K are linked. Let's look at the previous one. Knowledge, forward reaction is endothermic. Favors, endo, endo. Yeah, the K and the F are joined, are linked. Yeah, and here we've said more gas, more gas. Yeah, they're linked together. You've got to make sure of that. Really, really tricky. Really easy to lose. This is why it's so easy to lose those marks on these questions. It's why they're the, the worst answered questions in the whole of A-level chemistry. I kid you not. Crazy. Right. Um, so we've done pressure. We've done temperature. Do we want to do concentration? Eh. We can do. Can do. Why not? I think it's good to do this kind of stuff. It's good for anybody else who hasn't seen my AS lessons. Yeah, they'd be able to be pretty much pick up most of equilibrium marks by simply watching this video. So question number three. Let's go for another, another one. Let's do X going to um, Y and Z. First question on the chat. 
Can somebody please tell me the type of reaction? What type of reaction is this? You should all recognize it. Type of reaction, I'd love to ask my year 10s that. I bet they'd know it. I've done this with them, done this recently with them. Yeah, I'm not trying to belittle you or anything. Well done, Ivan, smashed it, well done. It's a TD, it's a Mr. Duncan, it's Toby Duncan. Sorry, ah, thermal decomposition. <laughs> oh, it's a thermal decom. Well done, Ivan, totally on it. Really impressed, dude, well done. It's a thermal decom, outstanding. Well done, Emma, well done, Ben, good job. You guys are on this. Okay, so thermal decom. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have Ivan, Ivan, um, Ivan adds more X. So by the way, this is the same as concentration. Yeah, and, and I'm trying, I'm doing this kind of deliberately. Ivan adds more X to the closed system. Yield? Question mark. Yeah. So again, this is a clever one, really. This is really concentration, by the way. I'm putting it actually in a more difficult setting. Uh, I love that. Nikita says endo. It's absolutely right. All, all thermal decompositions are endothermic. I'm very impressed, Nikita. That's a really cool addition, that. It's a thermal decomp. By the way, it's not the correct answer, though. If they wanted reaction type, they're wanting thermal decomposition. But I am going to add there endo because all, all thermal decompositions are. They require energy. You're breaking bonds. Mixo bendo. Love that. Right, let's run coughs. I'll put it here. Coughs. Now, this one, again, is tricky because the first one is the knowledge, and it comes from the equation. Yeah? So he added more x. Where, what, what, where is x in the equation? Ah, there's the knowledge. x is a reactant. Yeah, it's a reactant. That's the knowledge. Yeah, it's on the left. Yeah, it's going into the in, into the into the chemical equation. Yeah, it's going in, not coming out. So because it's a reactant, it means that we're going to see a directional shift. So oppose. So if Ivan oppose, Ivan adds x. The equilibrium equilibrium will remove equal the equilibrium will remove x next yeah favor how is it going to do that what is it going to favor in order to do that now this is the case where you can use forward it's going to favor the forward reaction it's going to go in the direction that destroys x this is concentration is the one where you see Favors the forward. Well done. X is a reactant. Ivan adds X, so equilibrium will remove X. It will favor the forward reaction. So shift left, right, yield it. Donna, you've just basically said exactly what I'm writing, which is amazing. Donna, I'm so impressed with you, young lady. You're such a great chemist. Ivan adds X, the equilibrium will remove X. Uh, favor, favor forward reaction. Absolutely nailed it. Forward reaction. God, I love the fact that you're able to do that, Donna. Uh, it, it makes me feel good because it means that I'm doing something right in my equilibrium lessons. If you can spit that out like that, that's amazing. Forward uh, favor forward reaction. Shift left to right. Shift left to right. I don't know why I capitalized it. I shouldn't do yield increases. By the way, I didn't actually expect to do yield increases every time. Uh, it was totally random. <laughs> I'm going to do one more question. One more, that's super common at AS. One more. Um, ben, Ben adds a catalyst, catalyst to an equilibrium. Explain, 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 what happens, explain what happens to the yield, to the yield. Now, I'd really like that question. It's actually an explain, it's not a question mark, is it? Explain what happened to the yield. 
has no effect on equilibrium. Well done, Emma. I love how fast that was. That was amazing. Answer, no impact, no effect. Can you now explain it, Emma? You get one mark, but you now need to get the second one. Why? No change in yield, yes. But why? You still haven't explained it, Emma. Answer, no effect on yield. Does it increase the rate of reaching equilibrium? Yes, it does, Ivan, yes because forward and backward reactions will both speed up. Thank you, Dana. But by the way, Dana, you've lost it as well. So tricky, these words, these subtle words matter. No, no change in equilibrium, no change in yield, percentage remains the same. Yeah, same percentage yield. Yeah, why? at the same rate. Donna, there you go. Increase the rate of the side of the equation. Yeah, Rhea, you would have lost it too. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Catalyst, catalyst in, it will be three marks by the way. One mark for that. Catalyst increases forward and backward reactions, increases forward and backward reactions. One mark, backward, reactions and then there's one word for the third equally one mark it's so easy to miss them in equilibrium this is why I, I i didn't try to invent this process just to try and get my students to be a bit more consistent with their outcomes because it was it was frustrating me for about five years before i invented coughs I just, the, the students would be all over the place. The, the data just was, was incredibly sloppy. And I was like, right, we need to fix that. So I hope that makes sense. Equal position, no change, but will reach sooner. Yes, Ben, spot on. Yes. Yeah, what would happen to the yield? That answers that question. Yeah, so the other question is, why would you add one? Yeah. So why add a catalyst? Why add a cat? No. Why add a cat? Meow. <laughs> Equilibrium achieved in a shorter time. Equilibrium reached, reached in shorter time, in less time. Like it. There we go. Cool. Increases the rate of reaction. Spot on. Now, you've got to remember that at AS, what they do is they blend rates and equilibrium together, which can become really messy. Yeah, it's a, always a trap, always a trap. They know it's done badly. They know that students struggle with it, but we've just covered every cough there is, which is amazing. Now we need to introduce you to A2, folks, which is quite exciting. I always like this bit. So uh, once upon a time, before I was good at teaching, <laughs> Uh, I used to have all kinds of questions, and, and the questions, whenever you guys ask good questions, it makes me a better teacher, because I have to work on how to go about answering them. And once upon a time, I got asked, um, why do you do kinetics before equilibrium? Like, why do you do that? And of course, the answer is because equilibrium is, in reality, based in, in kinetics, in the field of kinetics. And the, the great example of this is in A2. Because you guys, what are you now, you guys have been doing, so A2 kinetics, A2 kinetics, you realized that we got a rate equation. The rate of a reaction is equal to K, the rate constant, the rate constant, multiplied by the the reactants that are in the RDS, which are in the rate determining step, you know, to their orders, yeah, to their orders, which is found from kinetic experiments. I love all this stuff. Yeah, but what we realize is that this is, you know, this is, the, the what this K here represents is this K is the K for the forward reaction. Now, of course, we've been looking at this from a unidirectional perspective. We've been saying, oh, right, yeah, because the rate of this is the rate of that arrow. Well, what happens when you get to A2 equilibria? 
What do I now have? I now have two reactions. D plus E. I now have a forward uh, E, F. Uh, I now have two rate equations. Now, here's the beauty of this. Well, hang on a sec. What is, this is where I drop back to AS and I go to Ivan. Ivan, this is your fault. So I want you to answer. I'm pointing at my laptop screen. I've lost my marbles. Ivan, you're to answer this. Give me the three features question. Three features of a dynamic. And now he's going, oh yeah, that was me. Dynamic equilibrium. Give me the three features, please, Ivan. I taught it to you. Let's see if I taught it well. <laughs> feature one, feature two, and feature three. Let's see how long it takes, Ivan. By the way, Ivan, if you've got no idea, just put on the chat, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Rate of forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction. You've got one mark, Ivan. Well done. Emma, I said Ivan's answering it. Concentration reaction. I got two. I like it. Rate of forward. Shouldn't capitalize. I didn't really want Y. I couldn't write an F. Rate of forward reaction equals equals rate of reverse. I like it. Forward and backward reactions are happening at the same rate. Yeah, in a closed system. Ah, you see, Ivan, you've not missed the third. You've missed the first. Isn't that fascinating? Rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of reverse reaction. The concentration, concentration of reactants and products of reactants and products remains constant. Remain constant. You missed the very first one. Dynamic. That's what you missed. No new substance is introduced. Both forward and backward. Everyone's trying to find it. <laughs> they are happening. Backward occurring at the same time. Thank you, Rhea. Rhea got it. Rhea got it. Thank you, Rhea. Number one, forward and backward reactions. Forward and backward reactions are backward reactions are occurring are occurring at the same time yeah at same time this is the idea that it never ends yeah if i just quickly show you a stupid animation yeah uh, this is just a oh no it's not in there it's somewhere else hang on a sec let's see if i can find an animation for this uh this is where you guys get to see my, oh dear, uh, backup 2020 um, pen drive, teaching uh, backup, oh my goodness, teaching file, teaching file, teaching file, teaching file, GCSE, year 11, unit two, uh, no, unit three, equilibrium, where are you? Spot equilibrium. Oh no, that's energy change. Oh, uh, it's going to be in module two kinetics then, isn't it? Rates and collision theory, equilibrium, reversible reactions. There we go. Equilibrium. Um, I want to use that one for it. Go. Allow content. Oh, always security compatibility settings. I don't know what that means. Okay, uh, allow blocked content. Go. Go on, go on, go on. Do what I'm asking you to do. Are you having a laugh? It's going to be in the previous tab. Allow block content. Yes! Right. So this is just a quick animation to kind of highlight equilibriums. Yeah. This is just showing you that they never stop. Yet the forwards and backwards reactions are always occurring. We can stop it by quenching. It can be stopped. But if you just leave them, 
the, the reactions are never over. They are, they will go for the entirety of time. Yeah. Which is so the first, the first statement is the forward and backwards reactions are always occurring. You don't need the always, but I like doing it because it makes more sense to me. It makes the distinction between the first and the second. The next thing is once it reaches equilibrium, the forward and backwards reactions, the rates are the same. And then the last thing is that the, rea the concentration of reactions and products remains constant. Now, it's really nice for me to just, so it's nice to just to have seen that. Let's get rid of that. But it's also nice to put this in a graph, yeah? Because this was one of the things that I added. I added this on, on, the, on the heart. So what we're gonna do is, we realize we're gonna set up an equilibrium. Uh, let's keep it easy. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna give you the easiest scenario. A, transforming into B. I know that in reality, this isn't real because you can't just have one thing transform into another. You know, there'd be other products or it'd be a decomposition or whatnot. Um, but uh, by the way, actually, that when you get to degree, there is an opportunity where that does actually happen, but we'll come back to that another time. Uh, but we recognize that A is a reactant. Uh, reactant and B is the product. Now in an equilibrium graph, we monitor both. We know that the reactants are gonna be, if we go uh, percentage in system, yeah, let's just go percentage in system, yeah? We would know that at the beginning of the reaction, at the 100% mark, we would have all the reactant. Let's do the reactants in red and the products in blue. So at the beginning, yeah, the reactants are up here, and at zero, yeah, down here in blue, is the product. We have zero product at this point down here. So what's now going to happen is the product, the reactants are going to start reacting and it's going to decrease. Wow, that shows you how bad my pen's being. That wasn't my fault that guys, that was my pen. Oh, blimey, this is actually really, I need to make my tablet go totally flat. I've been, oh no, 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 no. bring that back, there we go. So my, my tablet is now totally flat. Let's do the, let's do the products first. The products, the products are going to increase and the reactants are going to decrease. Now, in this case, the, the equilibrium is a one-to-one. -one. What that means is they're going to decrease at, at the same rate. I'm happy to show you another graph here where it's unbalanced, but they're going to, because it's a one-to-one, -one, we're going to see it decrease. And what's going to happen? Yeah, so it's a reverse rate graph, that one. This is a standard rate graph. All right. So I uh, didn't quite get them perfect. I'm going to have another go at the blue. There we go. Cool. So this is an equilibrium graph. Yeah. So what we can see is at the point of equal, according to this graph, when equilibrium is established, equilibrium is established. Number one is, guys, when has it been established? Yeah, the most common mistake, this one, this question, equilibrium established, question mark, when? When was it established? When was equilibrium reached? Most students have make a mistake and go for there. That's not correct. It gets to the point when the reactants and products remains constant. It's when the graph levels out, yeah? We can see that this section here is flat and this section here is flat. So the equilibrium was established at that time. Yeah, that time there. If we read this off as time, yeah, then it would be X there. Uh, when both lines are horizontal, thank you, Ben. Spot on, well done, good man. So, and it also, so number one, we can say equilibrium established when um, concentrations conch of A and B, A and B become constant. Yeah, A and B are constant. And it's nice to actually, nice to say Ben's one, horizontal. Yeah, brackets, horizontal. It's really useful, that. Horizontal. Missed it. There we go. Horizontal. Um, wow, it's really weird writing on this thing being totally flat now. It just feels weird to me now. Um, the next thing is, which way does the equilibrium lie? Yeah, does it lie towards the products or does it lie towards the reactants? So, try and zoom in a bit. Which side 
does the equilibrium, which side does the equilibrium lie? Uh, lie. Lie? Equal. No, Donna, no. It's not equal. Look at the blue. Blue's sitting up here. You know, you can read it off if you like, Donna. Yeah. Blue's up here at 70%. And the products, by the way, my product line is incorrect, technically, if I redraw that properly. There we go. Yeah, and this is down here at 30. This is flat. Down there at 30. The equilibrium lies to the right. It lies towards the product side. Yeah, equilibrium. So the answer lies. I can't, is that how I spell it? Lies to right. Yeah. I wouldn't say heavily to the right. I just say it lies to the right. I mean, there's more product than there is reactant. Equilibrium lies to the right. Lies to the product side. Seems reasonable. Um, okay. I suddenly had another thing that I wanted to bring up from my, from my thing up here, uh, from my bit. Oh, I want to go back to KC. Right. So now that we've got a scenario where both the forward and forward and backward reactions are happening, everyone realizes that this means reversible. Yeah. That means reversible. Reversible. Yeah. But we also often talk about it in terms of dynamic equilibrium. Yeah. And we know that equilibrium, equilibrium, forward, forward reaction equals the backward reaction in rate, equals the backward. Their rates are equal. So hang on a sec. Each equation, each equation is going to have a rate equation. Now, in this case, in this case, this is where I've zoomed in way too far, lol, A to B. So in this case, the forward reaction would be A, and let's just do it to the power of one just for fun. And then this one equals the rate equation, K, concentration of B to the power of one. So we've got two rate equations, but here's the awesome bit. They both equal the same rate. So we can now simplify this and go, oh, hang on a minute. Their rates are the same. They're the same rate. So I can make K, I can write a new equation of K times A, equals K times the concentration of B. We can equate those two because the rates were the same. Now, the problem is in mathematics, you don't want two constants. This would be constant one for the forward direction and constant two for the reverse direction. This is K1 and K2. You could have done K forward and K backward if you like. Now, in mathematics, you would never want to have two constants, k forward, k backward. I quite like that. Mathematics never does that. What would you do to an equation with two constants in it? On the chat, please. I know that people will probably be leaving now. The lesson's overran. I'm sorry. Let me just finish. I'm nearly there. Give me, give me two more minutes. What do you do mathematically, guys? You guys are better at maths than me. What do you do with an equation with two constants in it? Make another constant. Yes, that you combine them to make another constant. Make one new constant. Thank you, Kayun. So let's divide. Let's divide A over here to move it over. Yeah, that goes to A over there. Amazing. A is gone. Next. Hmm. What was the point? Yeah. And then the next thing is we can separate this out. We can rewrite that now as KF equals K backwards multiplied by B over A, products over reactants. Yeah, well, now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by KB. Yeah, divide everything by KB, divide by KB, and it'll flip over to here, K backward. And that 
now gets combined. We've got two constants in the same thing, which will become KC. These become a brand new constant, KC. And by the way, these are to there. Now, this is where things start to differ because you realize I was equating the two things. And we realized that in this case, it's not so much about the orders of the reactant. It now becomes to the stoichiometric powers. So KC equals concentration of product to its, to X. And this is its stoichiometric number from the equation. Yeah, this is balanced number. I'll show you this in a second, balanced number. Yeah, over reactants. And this is our very first time you are seeing, and this is to its balanced number, the very first time that you're seeing KC. It's a rather beautiful thing to understand how the mathematics, how this comes from K. It's rather lovely. Anyway, I finished my lesson, understanding that that brings me to a close. I'm sorry that I overran, folks. Do apologize. Right, guys, I hope that made sense. Um, I, I should have given you an example, really, just the stoichiometric numbers. Um, I'll do it next time. Guys, go and have a nice rest of your day. Enjoy your break time. I'll see you all soon. <laughs>